Thank you and welcome to this presentation. My name is Simon Kadima. I'm a public health and humanitarian professional from Kenya. Currently, I work for the WHO Health Emergencies Program in the Eastern Mediterranean region. However, this is a study I did last year for my thesis at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Uh, thank you to my supervisor, Sean White. So this was a qualitative study on the effectiveness and appropriateness of water tracking as an intervention during emergency responses. So water tracking is an intervention that is extensively used during emergencies. I have highlighted a couple of operational modalities here and just some common criticisms. Uh, the intervention is extremely expensive and is often critiqued within the, uh, the sector. However, little is known on how it is selected during emergency responses and what successful water tracking programs look like. And that's the aim of this study. I explored the following key uh, research questions. One, what are the decision-making processes that lead to water tracking being selected as part of humanitarian response in a given region? Uh, what reflections do humanitarians have on water tracking implementation specifically? What do they think leads to a successful program and what challenges are commonly faced? Uh, what reflections do humanitarians have about the sustainability and market of, uh, market impact of water tracking programs? And what suggestions do they have for how these can be mitigated? So I conducted key informant interviews with WASH professionals, but possibly sampled through the global WASH cluster. These are professionals who had worked in, uh, in water tracking programs within the last 10 years in crisis globally. Uh, this may have included uh, writing or funding proposals that incorporated plans to do water tracking or managing, implementing, monitoring and evaluation of water tracking operations. I did thematic analysis of interview transcripts with the aid of NVivo, and these are some of the themes um, that I analyzed. Um, I will just touch on a few points for every theme and I have included here some quotes to exemplify this. So on the theme of decision-making in practice, a majority of participants mentioned that decisions to undertake water tracking were sort of reactive or knee-jerk uh, decisions when crisis events occurred, and no standard or systematic process was followed when selecting water tracking as an option. On the second theme on challenges and determinants of success, the high cost of operations and that water tracking represented no value for money was highlighted, fraud and corruption in contracting private uh, water companies, on the third theme on sustainability and exit strategies, participants mentioned the following challenges, challenges under these, the lack of practical context appropriate exit strategies, viable alternative sources being non-existent or impractical in some context, and that ascertainment of alternative water sources was not done comprehensively. On the fourth theme on environmental impact, participants had mixed reactions. Some participants uh, didn't, did not feel that water tracking had an impact, a negative impact on the environment. However, majority agreed that over abstraction of groundwater was a risk. Uh, participants also mentioned that water resource management was overlooked during responses uh, planning. And then the last theme on local market impact, majority of the participants agreed that water tracking operations could lead to disruption of water markets, um, especially highlighting that contracting would normally be done uh, for private water companies from larger cities, and then these are moved to the response areas. And this would cut out the smaller scale water vendors. And thus, consequently, there will be high water prices to the communities as smaller, smaller scale water vendors will try to offset the decreased uh, profits to them. So just this, I have highlighted some of my limitations uh, for this uh, study. However, I will just quickly go through the conclusions and recommendations. Uh, comprehensive needs assessments uh, to inform decision to track water with defined exit strategies is recommended. Advocacy to donors around strict conditionalities and investment on context appropriate durable solutions. Strengthen key wash staff capacity to enhance quality of water tracking operations. Explore context appropriate technologies to monitor groundwater use and transportation. Um, adoption of emergency market mapping and analysis tool that has been seen to work in some contexts. And lastly, advocate for use of water vouchers where contextually appropriate. I will stop here and welcome any questions uh, or any clarifications. Uh, otherwise, thank you for your attention.